Hey guys, today's video I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Welcome back to Ria's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Ria, and on my channel I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life and home, and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life and home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave this video, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it so that I'm able to bring more videos to you guys in the future that you guys would like. So with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video. And like I said, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I've been trying to keep myself away from Dollar Tree, guys, but you guys know that I can't keep myself away because I love that store. And so I found some new items that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, I will say some of the items I bought last week, and that was when my stores were still at a dollar. I don't know if you know, but um, it's... It's been around the, um, the news that Dollar Tree is now going to up their prices to $1.25 and they're starting to do it in some stores and they will have, I think, completely all stores. They said by April. I'm not sure that's what someone said online. Um, but last week it was still at a dollar, so I took advantage and I was like, I got some stuff. And then when I went today, guys, I saw them putting up a sticker and at first I didn't notice it. And then I went to another part of Dollar Tree and noticed that it was the $1.25 sticker. Now, everybody has their own opinions on it. At first, I wasn't really upset about it because I kind of understand with everything going up, I've had different things happening in my home where I've had a pool put in, I've had different um, items put in and different um, things done to my house. So I've had contractors that I've talked to and they have oh, like electricity, electricians and stuff like that. They've had to up their prices because like copper's gone up, wood's gone up, metal's gone up. So much stuff has gone up. So they had to up their prices in order for them to make you know a profit on their stuff. So I understand that things need to go up in order for people to be able to provide for their families. You know, at the end of the day, it is a business. So at first I was like, you know, if they did, you know, if Dollar Tree did bump their stuff up to $1.25 is because everything has gone up. Like everything has gone up. So I understand it. And so until I went today and I was like, it's $1.25 and then it hit me. I was like, I don't want to pay $1.25. But, you know, it, it does suck. It does suck. I know it's going to suck for a lot of us, but it's still a better bargain than most things. There's still things that I feel like um, it is still a good bargain at $1.25. It just sucks because now when the dollar, just like whenever the dollar adds up, our bill can end up being like $50. So now when the dollar twenty-five adds up, it can end up being somewhat a lot too. So, um, but that is, that is the, um, the new thing. So the stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you guys now are probably a dollar at your area or maybe a dollar twenty-five, depending on how your stores are. So let's jump right in with my favorite item and I actually ordered this item and I shared with you guys on Instagram that I made a Dollar Tree um, dot com order. If you did not know, you can actually order things on Dollar Tree. The only downside is you have to order it in bulk. Um, and so sometimes they have it where you can only order 24 or 48, but sometimes they have small quantities where you can only order four or six. Um, and so then you take advantage of that. So this product right here came out, I think, last year, and everybody was hauling it, and I couldn't find it in my stores, and it was these candy jars with lids. Look how big these things are. I was super excited when people were sharing them online, and I wanted to find them in my store, but I could never find them. So a couple, a couple months ago, I found it online, and I put in my order, and then a couple days later, Dollar Tree said that they didn't have it in stock, and they canceled my order. So I couldn't even get it online. Recently, I checked online, and they had them back in stock, guys, and this was before my Dollar Tree um, store started... Um, doing a dollar 25 so i ordered 16 of these because the the smallest amount you can get is 16 um and i got 16 of these and i or made an order and then i actually made a recently i made an order two days ago because everybody was talking about that the dollar tree was going to go to dollar 25 and i was like you know what I'm going to order some more. I'm going to check to see if it's still a dollar. And there was still a dollar on my website. So I ordered 16 more because I have so many organization projects that I'm going to do in my home and in my parents' home and in, you know, different uh, nieces and nephews' home with, the, with these jars. So I wanted to make sure that I got them when they were a dollar because look how big they are, guys. So um, they still were a dollar about two days ago. No. Four days ago when I ordered them. So if you really want these, check them, check online and get them now while they're still a dollar before they turn into a dollar twenty-five. But these are huge. You can use it for so many things. I'm trying to get like there we go. You can use it for so many things. Um, candy is one of them. You can also use them for storing snacks. I'm going to use them in different ways, so stay tuned. I don't want to tell you uh, um, right now in this video. I want you to stay tuned to the video. So coming up in January and on, I'm going to have a lot of organization projects going on in my home. And this one, I'm going to be using this jar for a couple things. The only thing about this jar, I will say that this jar is very big. This is the, oh, another thing I want to tell you guys because I said on Instagram, this is the 80 ounce 
size jar. Now, when I when you when they first came out, there was only an 80 ounce one. Um, now they have this one that's called it's a 55 ounce one as well. And Dollar Tree on the Dollar Tree website, they are actually putting the same picture in both of those jars. So you really need to look at the description, guys. If you want the one that's this size, which is like the size of my head, it is the 80 ounce. The other one, this 55 ounce, is much smaller, still the same price, and it's gonna have the same picture. So definitely when you order them, if you want this size, look at the description, make sure you're ordering the 80 ounce. Now with these, one thing that people were saying is the lid is not a secure lid, it's not like a, um, a tight fitting lid. You see it just sits on there. It doesn't really like, you know, it doesn't twist on it, it doesn't lock in, it doesn't seal. So these would not be great to keep things like fresh, like if you just put cookies in there with, that are not wrapped. So if you're gonna use this in the kitchen, you wanna put wrapped items in it, like wrapped cookies, wrapped candies, and different things that you're gonna do if you wanna keep, if it's food and you wanna keep it fresh. But really, to me, this is a great product regardless. I mean, for it not to even be sealed for a dollar, this is this is an amazing deal. You can't pass it up. So stay tuned for the coming new year of 2022. I will be bringing a lot of different um, organization ideas to you guys because I have to get my house organized and get back um, on track. And I will be using these jars as some of my organization. So that is something I ordered online. Now we're going to jump into some Christmas items, which I thought I was done with Christmas items, guys. But... You know, Dollar Tree brings in things slowly. So I'll probably still be buying stuff even going into Christmas if I feel like it's a good deal. And these guys were a good deal. Look at these huge LED lanterns that I saw at Dollar Tree the other day. They come in three different colors and three different styles. This one is the reindeer style and it's in red. And it's, you know, it lights up, which is amazing because like, how look how big it is. It's almost the size of my head. And it lights up for a dollar, guys. I got these last week when they were a dollar. So now they're probably a dollar twenty-five, but still, it's still a good deal. Cause I see some of these at um, Walmart, and they're like um, five dollars, maybe if they're this size, maybe five ninety-eight. They always do five ninety-eight. But I don't know if you guys can see. Um, this one is turned on. I'm not sure if you can see it. There it goes. There's a little like light. I don't know if you can see it. This is actually like a low little flicker. Uh, maybe I need to change the battery out of this one. This one didn't come with a little thing on the bottom. Make sure that whenever you buy something with the LED lights, that the little pick is not gone because if the pick is gone, somebody kept turning it on. And you want to get the most out of your battery life. So I might have to put a new battery in. But it is a nice little luminant light. And I think this is so adorable. For a dollar, guys, look how big this is. The style of this. And it comes in this beautiful red color, but you can also change it out. And one thing I do like about this is that it comes with like these little snappy parts right here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. These little snappy parts. So you can actually, and don't, don't mind my nails guys. I need to get my nails done. But these little snappy parts right here. So you can actually take this top part off, remove the inside candle or add a different candle, or you can add a floral to this guys because it's removable. You don't need to have the candle that's in here. You can put a better candle in here. You can put a candle that you have like from Amazon that has a remote control. So you can really switch this up. So it's amazing how they made this to where you can take it apart and maybe DIY it, make it over, but you can also add things. So for a dollar, this is so amazing guys. I was super excited about this one. So this one's the red one. Let me turn off before I waste it. Um, they also had a white one and the white one of course they made it a snowflake which i think is perfect because you know when you think of snowflake and snow it should be white so i think this is amazing that they made the snowflake one white look how beautiful gorgeous this is guys look how beautiful and gorgeous i can't believe this was a dollar well now a dollar 25. and then they also had a green one that had the green christmas tree now i'm debating guys because um you guys know if you guys have seen my decorate with me videos of my home which if you haven't seen it i'll put the link down below so you guys can see how my house came out it's all dollar tree items all dollar tree diy items and it came out so beautiful and gorgeous um and some stuff from like target dollar spot and um i think yeah target dollar spot or like dollar tree plus um, but everything is a red and white and with touches of black because I like that modern look. So I was thinking since I'm not doing anything green, um, I only have like the natural green coming out. I don't know if I should keep this green or if I should spray paint it black. So you guys let me know in the comments down below that, especially the ones that have seen my house. Do you think I should spray paint this black and make it more modern or I should keep it green and so it can go with like the greens that I have of the floral. You guys let me know, but this is amazing as well. I can't believe that these little these lanterns that are like, like I said, almost the size of my head was only a dollar. So the last thing that I got that was like Christmas items was they had this, they called motion activated ornament. So they had this one. It was so cute. You guys know I've been making a lot of gingerbread DIYs 
on my channel. I'll link them down below if you haven't seen them. This little um, ornament is the little gingerbread with the elf. And you guys know that I do the elf on the shelf in my home. And so the fact that they have the two things that I decorate with in this little ornament and it was like 3D, I thought it was so cute. On the back, it has it where you can click it because it's motion activated. So um, basically... As you can see, it sings, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, so it's motion activated, so anytime somebody passes by, it's gonna do that. What I also love about this ornament is if you can see back here, guys, you can make this an ornament or a home decor item. So it, the hook that it has here, you pull it out so it could be pulled out and used as an ornament, or you could just put it down and then maybe you could use it on your tear trays, which that's the way I plan to do it. I'm gonna put it in my coffee bar area in my tear tray because that's like I have the gingerbread theme stuff in there. So I like the fact that you can use this two ways. They made it to where it's like, cause sometimes we'll take like ornaments and we want to use them as um, like tear tray decor and it still has like that hook or something, but they made it to where you can have the hook for the ornament or you can remove the hook, you know, have it not looking for like any other style. So I'm impressed by this. Now they did have, Three other styles, they had one that was just an ornament, like it was in the shape of an actual ornament, you know, the ornament balls. They had one in the shape of a Christmas tree, and then they had one in the shape of, I believe a star, I can't remember. But I have picked, I'm putting pictures up here so you guys can see all three of them. That's all the Christmas stuff that I have, so let's move on to the other stuff. Actually, no, I have another Christmas item stuff that I wanted to share with you guys, and it's just some Christmas, uh, just some Christmas, like Christmas tableware. So they had, you guys know that, like I said, I'm doing everything red and white. So they had this flannel back tablecloth that is red with these white snowflakes, which I love. I feel like that this will look very high end on the table. And it's perfect to have these, especially what I do is every Christmas morning, we have Christmas Eve dinner at my parents' house, but then every Christmas morning around, I make it like around 11 or 12 so everybody can sleep in. I have all the families come over and I do a big Christmas breakfast at my house. And so this would be perfect for um, my table so that that way I could put it down and then all the messes I could just, you know, take it up and throw it away. So this is going to be part of my tablescape for my Christmas morning breakfast. And I will share that with you guys too on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already. So you can follow along with all the activities that we're doing for Christmas. And then they also have the plates to go with them. So this is also good. This actually comes 14 I think they come, yeah, 14 count. So I got two of them, and I think these will be really cute with the white chargers that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'll put the white chargers down, put these on top of them, and maybe put like some type of star or cup or whatever. And it's easy decoration that's also disposable and looks really pretty. So I can't wait to share with that with you guys how it's all set up. So now let's move on to the other stuff that I have. I found some new things in the beauty section. Um, and so I wanted to try them. You guys know I love the beauty mask and all the hair masks they have at Dollar Tree. The Yes To brand is an awesome brand. I've used their mask before, so I have my daughters and we love it. So these were two new ones that I saw that I wanted to try before I got them for me and my daughters. Me and my daughters. I got it for me to try before I bought it for my daughters I met. Um, so this one is called Tea Tree Scalp Relief for Dry and Itchy Scalp. It's a soothing hair clay mask. And I have psoriasis and so I always have um, like itchy scalp. And so anything I can get that can soothe the itchy scalp so I don't have to use any harsh chemicals, I'm all for it. So I'm excited to try this. So hopefully it will help me with my psoriasis. Um, and then they also had this one. This one is new. It says makes your belly appear moisturized and smoother belly up paper mask. Um, so I'm not sure if this is going to actually work, but anything that maybe can make my belly look nice, I want to try it. And I think, and the reason why I want to try it now is it's the winter time. So if this is a product that actually really works, it'll probably be great to use a couple of these and get your belly right before the next time we can do, you know, a uh, bathing suit season. So this is good to have right now to get your belly ready for whenever the bathing suit season comes again. And Texas is going to come earlier because, you know, we always have it hot here. And then these two next things I bought for stocking stuffers for my daughters. Um, these are hot and cold iPads. My daughters lately are getting into like doing facials for their face, keeping their face look nice. And one of the things that they have been complaining about is that their eyes look puffy before they have to go to school. So I thought this would be great to have for them so that, you know, it can depuff their eyes. This one is the donut shape one or the donut design one, which is cute. All the, you know, teens and tweens love anything that has to do with donuts. You know, they, they find that cute. And this one is just a regular little kiwi one which I think is cute as well. So I think I'm gonna give my do the donut one to my older daughter and I'm gonna give the kiwi one to my younger daughter because she's into that green look. Uh, green is her favorite color now, the sage green. So I'll probably give her that one. They might switch it because that's sometimes they do. Like if I give one of them a certain thing, they might switch it, but 
Either way, they're each going to have one. And then two other products that I saw that was new that I wanted to try. One of them, um, well, this one, I don't, I don't, I think I bought this before, but I'm not sure. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you're probably going to be like, Rhea, you did haul that a while back, but I couldn't remember if I did. But this is the Makeup Vanishing Towels. And people said that this is just like the the expensive makeup remover towel that is very popular. I forgot what brand it's from. So I wanted to try it, you know, to take out, you know, because I like using I like using the facial wipes to take off my makeup, like to actually get all the makeup off and then throw it away. But I love using the towels to wash my face because I don't like having like the, the water sp uh, splattering everywhere around the counter. So I kind of wet a towel and kind of like after I wash my face, use the towel to take off the soap off my face if I'm not doing it in the shower, if I'm doing it at the sink. So I like to have, you know, different hand, you know, makeup towels. So I want to try that this one. Hopefully it works well. If it does, I'm going to buy some more. This one was a new thing that I want to try that it also had it in the body version, but this one is the exfoli exfoliating facial mitt. And so I want to try this one again because whenever I'm washing my face at the sink, I don't like to make a bunch of mess on the sink. So I'm hoping that I could use this one. For when I'm washing my face in the sink and on the shower, I could put like my product on here and kind of wash my face and stuff like that. So it's not like all of my hands and stuff like that. So I want to try this one again. They have a body one like this, but I want to try this one first to see if it works. And then if it does, I'm going to go back and get the body one. They actually had a lot of new facial and body products in that section that I want to try, but I don't want to buy too many things now because it's $1.25. So I was like, I want to try one thing at a time. But if you guys have tried this and you like it, let me know down in the comments down below. Or if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments down below too. And another thing I bought in the beauty section were these tail combs. You guys seen me purchase these before. I love these to do my daughter's hair, especially when I'm straightening their hair or my hair. Like right now, I'm actually, I wash my hair. And what I do, if you guys haven't seen my straightening video on how I straighten our hair, I'll link it down below. But I don't like to add a lot of heat to me and my daughter's hair when we when I do straighten their hair. So what I do for, my, for myself and their hair is I wash it. I put like silky, I put like products in our hair that's going to prevent frizz and um, also the, the sprays that, was it, the hot tool spray like to prevent from getting heat damage. I put all that stuff in our hair and then I put my hair in a braid, I put their hair in a braid and I let it air dry for a day within the braid while it's silky and then the next day I take the flat iron and I flat iron their hair. And that way I'm not sitting there blow drying their hair because blow drying causes a lot of frizz for our hair and it also damages our hair. So this way I let my kids hair and my hair you know, air dry naturally and then the only heat that I am putting on it is the flat iron and it comes nice and silky smooth. But these combs are great whenever I am flat ironing their hair because as I run the flat iron through their hair or my hair, I'll run it one time, then I'll take this comb, run it through it after I've done the heat. And what it does is basically it detangles it. I do it before and I do it before and after um, I run the flat iron and it detangles the hair and while it's still hot, it makes it even straighter and takes the tangles out, especially when it comes to curly hair, it works really well. So, and also whenever you're doing um, hairstyles for girls, this little part, this little, uh, what do they call it? Tail comb. This actually works very, very well. But you got to be careful with the ones from Dollar Tree because they can melt. So make sure that the hair is not too hot before you put this on because it will melt the comb. So now I got some other things to share with you guys. I have it in my little bucket here. And so one thing that I found in the home decor section, I try to stay out of there because I don't need no more home decor things because I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm having like a, a too much stuff that I'm like switching out home decor and then I have like all this other stuff that's like just sitting in the closet. But I did like this one that said, this is us, our life, our story, our home. So whenever I take down all my holiday stuff, this could be something that could be in me and my husband's room because like I told you guys, my room is decorated in like farmhouse and gold. So I thought this was perfect to put in our bedroom. But also if I don't actually like this after a while, I love the fact that this one says this is us is in gold. So I can create a DIY out of it as well because I just like the gold fold of this is us. And then I can also use this, um, this back drop for something else so this can be made into two different DIYs or it can actually be used as home decor so I loved it um, another thing so now we're gonna move into the craft section so I have never seen this I don't know if you guys have seen it before if it's new or not but they have what is called just Chanel like for crafter makers knitters and crochet yarn like the just Chanel yarn I have never seen this before and it is so soft guys I wish you guys can feel like this up through the camera this thing is so super super soft and when i saw the colors that they came in they had this pink they had of course white they had this beautiful gray look at this gray guys and you guys know that i like to decorate with grays and blacks as well look at this beautiful gray look at the tone of it 
this thing is so super super soft so when I saw it I knew that you know Valentine's Day is gonna be coming up soon and you guys know that now I like to do Valentine's Day DIYs so these two colors right here I knew I can make some amazing DIYs out of it um, so stay tuned this is what I'm gonna be using for some DIYs coming for Valentine's Day and then for these I knew that I would be able to make like everyday type of stuff even for like my husband's man cave or stuff for our you know for the living room with this color it's just super soft and there's so many DIYs that you can make with this um, I think I'm gonna look into crocheting because I feel like now that I found this material I want to make some crochet stuff so I'm gonna learn how to make crochet and Dollar Tree has a bunch of different supplies for crochet um, items I haven't tried them myself so if you are a person who knows how to crochet and you've bought stuff from Dollar Tree, let me know the things that you liked, um, that you found helpful, that actually work as good as the other stuff that you bought. Let me know in the comments down below so that I could be on the lookout for them because I do want to get into crocheting. But I was super excited about that. So stay tuned for like Valentine's Day DIYs and other DIYs with this. They also had a beautiful yellow and a beautiful green, which I said, you know what? I was buying too much stuff. I was like, I'll go back for it because I wanted to get those two colors for Easter. And guys, when I went today, guess what? They weren't even there. And I was like, oh my God, and now it's $1.25. So I should have got it when I saw it. So note to self, whenever you sell the dollar tree, just grab it, guys, because it goes fast. But I do want to pick up the nice yellow one, the teal one for um, um, Easter, because I know I can make some beautiful Easter DIYs with that as well. This thing is probably not new, but I want to share with you guys is the Crafter Square Art Palette. They've always had these different little art palettes where you can put your paints in it, but I've never seen this one that's a six pack. So it comes, well, so here, sorry. It's a six pack. So it comes with six of them in here. Normally I see the one that's just the one, but the fact that this one is a six pack, I thought this would be amazing, especially like if I'm doing crafting with my daughters, each of us can have our own. Or if I'm doing multiple DIYs, I can have like different little like ones that I can like, um, cause sometimes when you're not done with your paint, you can actually wrap, um, wrap it in like plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator or the, the freezer. I forgot. It was one of those things. And then you can bring it out when you need it. But if I'm doing multiple DIYs or multiple things or have multiple people over for a craft night, this just comes in more, you know, just it comes in handy. So I like the fact that it was um, that they had a six pack. I don't know how thin it is, but I still think it would do great. Um, and then they also had some more new paintbrushes. You guys know that I love the paintbrushes from Dollar Tree. And these two that I found, they come in a beautiful teal color. I've never seen them in this teal color. You guys know that my favorite color is baby pink and the, this teal blue. Those are my two favorite colors. So if you ever, if you ever want to know what my favorite colors are, that's what it is. Um, and so I, they're the same paintbrushes I've gotten before, but they're just in a different, they have a different handle. So I got those. The next thing I want to share with you guys is, oh, uh, one more thing from the crafters item. So I saw this and I had to pick it up now because I think this would be great for, it would be great for the fall, but also for Easter DIYs. And it's this little like picket fence, um, like wood piece and I just think that it's just amazing there's so many times that I have and other DIYers have made this type of shape out of popsicle sticks but now that it's already made for you for just a dollar and it's actually thicker than popsicle sticks so I just feel like you can make multiple DIYs come in come Easter come springtime and definitely the fall with this piece so grab it if you want to see it and now we're going to move on to I have found some electronic um well stocking stuffers for the electronics so if you have a teen or a tween that has a phone this next couple things I'm gonna share with you guys I think it's amazing to get them for stocking stuffers so the first thing is a phone stand um they have the phone stands in here they come in so many different colors and Dollar Tree this one I like is like a clear teal with that sparkle on it and what I love about this is that it is you know it is um where you can it's portable and it's like compact where you can fold it down and put it in a purse, a backpack, and then you can basically set it up whenever you want it. So I, that's, that's what drew me to it because there is other phone cases where they're already like set up or I've used like a picture stand or a plate stand for a phone case. But the thing is, is it's very bulky and you can't really take it with you. Um, uh, you know, like if you're, the, well, the kids can't take it with them if they're going to school or if we're going on trips because it's so bulky. But this is so compact. You basically fold it up to put it away and then you can just put it back together when you need it. So I think there's very, um, it's a very versatile thing and it's a very um, handy thing for kids to have. And especially for my daughters because my daughter, my youngest one, Every time she's at the dining room table, she's always using like, you guys know that I make like a centerpiece for the dining room table downstairs to decorate. She always takes my candles and my home decor piece to stand up her phone while she's eating downstairs. And it annoys me because when she puts the candle or whatever back, if she remembers to, she puts it back in the wrong spot. So I'm tired of her touching my home decor stuff. So now she's gonna have her own little phone case 
um, stand that is portable, that's foldable, that she can use whenever she wants and she can stop touching my home decor. This one is another color that I like. It has the teal color, but it's not the see-through um, sparkly one. So I actually got one for me and one for each of my girls. The next thing has to do with cell phone things as well. These are cell phone rings that I thought were so cute, not only for the teens and tweens, but this one right here, I know you guys, you mothers out there will love, especially when you guys love your Starbucks. Look at this one. This is so cute. It's a gold little phone ring that has a little, uh, you know, coffee cup keychain. Well, coffee cup, like little... I don't know what you want to call that. Like, I guess it's a little chain thing. I don't know. But it comes with a strap. So you can use, this is the little ring. You can use the ring by itself without the strap, but it comes with a, the ring, a strap, and a little like decorative thing for your phone. So I think that's so cute. Or for us crafters, we could take that and use it to craft with and add it to our DIYs. So that's an idea. I can't wait to give this to my girls. They had so many designs. They had this cute burger one, which if you guys saw my video when I was talking to you guys about um, when I was sharing with you guys, I think it was my it was my last video that I shared with you guys. Um, I shared with you guys all the SpongeBob things that I found, the SpongeBob makeup things that I found for the girls at Walmart. That's gonna be stocking stuffers. So when I saw this little burger, it reminded me of the Krabby Patty. So I thought that was so cute. I have a niece who's obsessed with food. We always make jokes about how she just loves food. She's obsessed with food. So I got that burger for her and also the French fry one um, because, like I said, she's obsessed with food. So these are just so cute. And then this one I also got for my daughters is a little ice cream. I just, whenever, even though she's into green, um, and sage green now, whenever I see anything pink, I just think of her. And so this one's a cute little pink one. If she doesn't want this one, I'll take it because you guys know I love pink. So I definitely picked up this brown one for me because I love the, you know, I love coffee out of the fall. But if she doesn't want this pink one, I'll take it, you know. And another thing that I picked up that I wanted to share with you guys was this USB wall charger. And I want to share it with you guys because they have a lot of electronic stuff things there. And sometimes people don't think that, you know, they're good. But I, me and my daughter recently bought the one that goes in the car and it works really great for our phone. So I'm like, you know, if that worked great, then this one should too. And so um, I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. So if you guys have tried this and you like it, let me know in the comments down below if it works good for you. But we're always constantly losing our block or our daughters are trying to borrow me and my husband's block. So I was like, let me get one of these. And if it works great, I'll buy a couple of them to always have on hand. Um, and nowadays, I've noticed that every time when we get a product, like my daughter just got a lamp for her birthday from her grandparents. And it came with the USB cord, but it just came with like the plug and it has a USB uh, cord to it, but it doesn't have nothing to plug it into the wall. So you have to buy this thing separate to plug it into the wall. So I feel like, you know, um, manufacturers are getting cheap now and they're not giving us a whole plug. They're giving us USB cords and then we have to buy, you know, those blocks all the time. So if that works great, I'm gonna buy a couple of blocks and always have it on hand because you just never know. So the last thing I want to share with you guys is some toys from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has really been stepping up their game with their toys and I kind of get upset because I feel like I used to buy things for my kids from Dollar Tree all the time when they were younger, but I feel like the toys now are way better than what my kids had. And even my kids get, um, they get upset. They're like, oh my God, they didn't have that when I was younger. So now I buy all this stuff for my godchild, which is also my great niece. And I'll be sharing with you guys, we're going to be doing some vlogging and I'll be sharing with you guys her um, in a couple of videos coming up soon. And her mom also has a channel as well. And so I'll link her down below and she also has a TikTok. So if you want to follow her as well, she is such, she is so adorable. That is my heart. That's my baby. And anyways, I I bought some things for her because these are amazing like toys that I can't believe are a dollar. So the first thing is this um, doll bath set and I can't believe again this was for a dollar. So for the bath set you get this this big tub and it comes with a little rubber ducky and a, a play soap on it which is so adorable and it comes with a little shower head too that after you um, open it up you can connect it to right there. So they come, it comes in pink and it comes in, this basket's about to fall. It comes in pink and it comes in blue. And so like when you can't pick a color, when in doubt, choose both. And so the blue one has, the only thing different is the blue one has a pink soap. But this is such a great deal, guys. I can't wait to go take this to my little godchild so that she can have it because my niece is actually pregnant again with uh, her third child. And so she actually wanted to buy things for Christmas that had to do with baby dolls. This was, I bought this before she even told me this, but she wanted to buy things that had to do with baby dolls so that her daughter can practice like doing things with the baby doll so that when the baby comes and mommy's doing things with the baby, she can do things with her baby just like mommy. So I got her the bathtub that she was already looking for. So now she has a bathtub um, for her to have for the baby. This is amazing, guys. And also, you can use this for DIYs. There are so many farmhouse DIYs. J Money DIY, um, that's my girl. I love her channel. She made a bunch of beautiful farmhouse DIYs with the little bathtub that they had. It was like the Barbie bathtub. 
And she also created a huge bathtub. Before this came out, she created her own huge, like, was it a bathtub or was it a sink? I think it was like a sink or something. But it was like a flower pot that she created and it looked like a sink and it was like a farmhouse DIY. So amazing that she created it with Dollar Tree products. But now you have the tub itself and you could take this and spray paint it and make so many like farmhouse DIYs with this. And I think Bargain Bethany as well, she also made different type of tub and sink DIYs. So if you ever see any of the DIYs that Bargain Bethany or um, J Money DIY made that has to do with tubs, instead of buying all the products that they did, you can actually take this tub, buy it and skip a step and create the beautiful, you know, decor pieces that they made. So if you're not following them already, I'll put their channels down below. They are amazing DIYers and amazing crafters. And they come up with some things that sometimes guys, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even think about that. So the last thing I want to share with you guys that I was super excited to find, I always say that, I'm super excited. But I was impressed to find this because not only did, is it something that I couldn't believe was a dollar, but it came in multiple colors that made my heart happy because I have mixed girls. So they, if you ever like seeing like the dolls at the store and the toys, um, the toys where you, you could buy the doll head, the Barbie doll head, and you can do her hair. My youngest daughter loved that because she loves to do hair. So now Dollar Tree has their version of a fashion doll, which is just the head. It's just the head. Um, the other ones are my fault, sorry. It was just the head and you can do its hair. Now it is small, but it's called the styling head. And I thought this was so cute for a dollar because not only can you get this for your kids so that they can style their hair it's because it's small they make great travel toys and with the beauty about this not only like it was at a dollar and the styling heads was like one of the things that my daughter loved the most not only does is it you know great but it comes in multiple like cultures multiple uh colors they have the regular like you know white and blonde they also had a um black doll as well and then they also had a Hispanic one, which I don't know if this is the Hispanic one, but I'm going to call it Hispanic. But this made my heart happy because as you guys know, my daughters are mixed. Well, if you've been following me, my daughters are mixed with Puerto Rican and black. So I got these two dolls. It has both their cultures put into, you know, they have two of the, each dolls have both their cultures. Plus my mom, who's Puerto Rican, my mom is actually very fair like I am, like very light like I am. And she has blonde hair. So this one looks just like my mom. Like if you ever go to Puerto Rico, we are like... We are a race that's like a bunch of colors, bunch of different hair colors. You know, we are a mixed breed. So we, there are so many different shades and colors of us. And then my daughters are mixed as well. So to find dolls that look like them, it just makes my heart happy that we could find dolls that look like them, especially at Dollar Tree for like a dollar. And then the little cute little styling hair dolls. So I love them. I'm about to open one so you guys can see it. Um, but what I also like about this is that I didn't even think about it. But when I shared it to my mom, what the dolls that I got for her, because I told her I was going to give her the blonde one. She actually mentioned to me, she said, oh, I can, I can use the head and make a doll. So my mom's a crafter as well. And so the minute she saw the doll head, she decided that she can make a, because she likes to make dolls. She was going to make a doll out of it. Like she was going to use the head and just make a doll's body. But look at it, guys. Let me get the brush. It fell. But look, this is how it looks. It's actually a pretty big size when you think about it, when you take it out of the, the packaging. And it has quite a few hair in it. Like, and this is, this is the brush that comes with it. And it's so cute. I think this is adorable. It's great for your girls to have. Great travel toys. You can have it in the car at all times. You know, whenever you're trying to keep them entertained in the grocery store, they can have this little head. It doesn't take up that much room. It might scare somebody if they just see a head, but hey, it entertains your kid. And the fact that, you know, it comes in so many different colors. I mean, so many different, like, different shades. So this one is the Hispanic one. I'm just going to take it all out so you guys can see them. That's the Hispanic one. Let me take out the black one. I was just so excited for a dollar. Well, now it's a dollar twenty-five, guys, but still cheap, still cheap. They did have a pony one. So if your daughters are into ponies or any your kids, period, if they're into ponies, they have a pony one. But the pony one, I didn't pick it up because it didn't have enough hair on the pony's head for me to be like, it, it, for, it to, you, for you to brush the pony's hair. Now, if you're getting the pony just for decor or for it to style it or just to have it like a, like a decor piece or whatever, or your kid just likes ponies, that's fine. But if you're getting it for like a hairstyling thing, it didn't have much hair on it. So that's why I didn't get the pony. This is the black one. Look at it. It is so cute. Oh, my God. And it's a beautiful doll, too, because normally the times... Normally, when you get Dollar Tree dolls, the dolls are kind of scary. But no, guys, look at it. It looks beautiful. I can't believe this is a doll. This is actually a great gift to get. And the hair is very silky, so it's not, like, tangling up. So I like that one. Oh, my God. I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe it. Sorry this video is long. I had a lot to show you guys. You guys know how it is. I had a lot to show you guys. So sorry this video is long. I should have told you guys to grab a snack at the beginning. But let me show you the last one. Oh, beautiful. This looks just like my mom, my mom. 
The only thing is my mom don't have my mom doesn't have blue eyes, but she has light eyes like I do, like light brown eyes. But this is how the, the blonde one looks. So I think it's just a great, amazing toy to have um, to get your kids. And the one other toy that was there that I didn't pick it up is that they have these board games. They have Monopoly, Sorry, Battleships, and Candyland. And basically it's the game, but it's like a cardboard version. And because you know for Dollar Tree, but it says on the package that it magically sticks. So I didn't pick it up because I didn't want to try it. Um, because I had so much stuff that I was buying, but they do have it out there. I think I might in the new year buy, um, purchase it just so I could try it and kind of do a series on my channel of Dollar Tree, you know, board games and Dollar Tree games, like family games, because you guys know we love to do family games. And I might try it out for you guys. So if that's something that you guys might want to see on my channel, let me know in the comments down below. And then I'll go purchase it and try it for you guys. But supposedly it's like cardboard, but the pieces stick together. But for a dollar, that's amazing. But we already had all those games in our house, so that's why I didn't get it. But it's something to be out there I wanted to share with you guys in case you wanted to get it for your kids for Christmas. Um, it's also great to travel with because you could put it in a Ziploc bag or even a binder and take it with you, all the pieces. And then when you're in the hotel and stuff like that, or if you're stuck at an airport, you guys can put it together and just have fun. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. But if you guys want to see that series, like maybe in the new year of me trying out, you know, Dollar Tree board games, family board games, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll happily do that for you guys because we love doing family board games. So that is it for today's haul, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. What was your favorite item that I shared with you guys? And what new things have you guys been seeing at Dollar Tree that you think I might like that I haven't shared with you guys? And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.